Marcus Viney. I'm the head coach of Cheyenne East Speech and Debate. Well, a lot of things happened last season at Nationals when we were in Birmingham, Alabama. One particular story that stands out is Connor Sears. He finally makes it to the final stage and not only is Cheyenne East excited, but I start getting messages from the other Wyoming schools that say, hey, we're with you, we're behind you, we're representing Wyoming. And so we just put like all of our hearts and energy into that and we all went and watched him. If you could just go in the closet. No, no, no. It's not like a closet. I'm like, oh, gay closet. It's just my dad and, and, and he doesn't know me. I love you and I'll make it up to you. And to see Connor, a kid who's walking the halls at Cheyenne East High School up on that stage that we've watched so many times with national final rounds. He's up there and now he's going to be up there forever. And, you know, in all of that excitement, I'm not sure that we realized how big that is because, you know, it's not even until this year that we go to bigger tournaments and kids start to notice him and recognize him and say, hey, you were on the final stage. And so this um, has impacted the speech and debate community. Hopefully, um, he's been able to do even more than that. I know he would be really happy to know that his story is being told and being spread and being watched being shared and that's what speech is all about so what happened is that a voice from Cheyenne Wyoming got amplified my name is Jaden Roccaforte I mean I felt like I knew more than the average novice considering that my brother did speech and debate in his high school career and he told me a lot about it and so I knew what I was going into yes sir you do line four and he said it was urgent Right. My sister was in it, and all of her friends are like family, and so they all talk about it all the time. And so I was super excited to start about it. Start it. <laughs> Didn't expect me to be an interpreter, but I guess it just happened. It was pretty intimidating, to be quite honest. So, like, you know, I knew as much as they knew. I know this sounds kind of crazy, but my mindset going into this year and I think the other coaches shared this attitude was that we were going to do something even bigger together um, because although what Connor did was really amazing we got to kind of think of it as just another stepping stone that he laid down so that other students could step on it and we're just going to keep going we're not going to let this be a one-time thing we had a national champion uh, a few years ago and some people thought hey you should really celebrate this because you don't know if this is ever going to happen again. And we thought, you know what, no. This, we need to make this normal. Kids from Cheyenne are just as talented, just as good as anybody else. All we have to do is to help create that space to make that happen. So we walked into this year thinking, we're going to do bigger. We're going to do better. We're going to keep opening opportunities for students. Um, Connor doesn't have to be it. And, you know, and he wasn't. Jesse made it. Um, to final rounds. She was in out rounds. She's making it far. Other people are starting to approach that too. I um, mean, we think maybe if we start to expand ourselves, we go to bigger tournaments, just expose ourselves to more, we can get more of those opportunities for more students. So we're going to do better next year, and we're just going to keep going until we don't know what the limit is. Why not? 
I don't know. Believe in yourself. We gotta believe. I really hope so. We'll have to wait and see. She totally will. She's amazing. Stop. You think you are going to go to finals? Yes. All right, here we go. I know I'm biased, and I know I might sound a little bit crazy when I say this, but I think this was one of the most exciting novice groups we've ever seen come through because there was just so much energy and excitement and talent. And part of that has to do with the novices from last year. They were better than the ones from before, and it's just this space, like I'm saying, it's snowballing. There's a snowball effect where there's just so much joy around performing and telling stories and doing this activity maybe more exciting time is when a brand new person walks in that room and they're not really sure what speech and debate is and they've just been pulled in and they don't realize that they're now a part of this thing and they're going to contribute to it and have all kinds of amazing experiences so the, i just could not have been more excited this novice season to see all these new people to start working with people and just hit the ground running towards another nationals
your rounds go? Oh, I feel pretty great. I choked in my last round, but I got it together. <laughs> I want to go to bed. <laughs> How do you feel after your last round? <laughs> How'd your rounds go? Amazing. How'd your rounds go? Lovely. Awesome. A lot better. He did good. I was in that room. He did good. Tell Elastic Tape, tape Recorders why you say it twice and you can play it twice. I'm really happy with my pieces. I'm really happy with what I did. I think we're doing good. I think me. we're doing pretty good. No, I did great for Okay, the follow me on YouTube. Yeah, we kick butt. We kick butt so hard. Oh, there you go. Ariana and I. I'm that good. That good? Incredible. I mean, you never know. Go that way! Go that way! I feel like I did. I did okay. I don't know. I did not know that I've never done this before. I feel like I did it. Do you feel like you did well? Oh, yeah, I did. I feel even more incredible if that's possible. There's Papadopoulos right there. Whoa, oh my gosh. Pops is the name. PF is the game. First place is the fame. And she's gonna do the same. The same? And I, I had fun, a lot of fun at Rock Springs. That was like my first tournament where we just where we left and went into a different place and we stayed overnight at a hotel and it was just a really good experience in general. Um, I just had a lot of fun at that tournament. I thought it was a good opportunity to learn more about my fellow competitors and people that I was just, like people on the team for the first time, like I was really learning about who they were as people. Placing 6th from Cheyenne East High School, Asia D. Marcus. Placing 2nd 
from Cheyenne East High School, Jesse Archibald. Placing first, from Cheyenne East High School, Connor Sanders. And sixth place, from Cheyenne East, Marcus and Black. And fourth, from Cheyenne East, Garland and Noah. And third, from Cheyenne East, Backwater and Quarter. Placing fifth, from Cheyenne East High School, Caden, Lane McCoy, and Gracie Buck. Placing second, from Cheyenne East High School, Amber Thompson and Cheyenne Corbin. And placing first, from Cheyenne East High School, Jesse Archambault and Connor Sanders. Fourth place, from Cheyenne East, Nevea and Corbin. And third, from Evanston, Parker Beckler. And second, from Cheyenne East, Saga McKellison. Placing fifth, from Cheyenne East High School, Caden McCoy. Placing fourth, from Cheyenne East High School, Morgan O'Neill. Placing third, from Cheyenne East High School, Kaylee Mallory. Placing second, from Cheyenne East High School, Elsha Silong. Placing first, from Cheyenne East High School, Connor Sears. Placing fifth, from Cheyenne East High School, Brendan Stewart. Placing fourth, from Cheyenne East High School, Marcus Burrell. Placing second, from Cheyenne East High School, Skylar Coons. And placing first from Cheyenne East High School, Jaden Rookwood. Placing sixth from Cheyenne East High School, Justin Wolseley. Placing fifth from Cheyenne East High School, Zach Atkins. Placing fourth from Cheyenne East High School, Connor Sears. Placing second from Cheyenne East High School, Jesse Archambault. Second place from Cheyenne East High School, Albrecht. Third place from Cheyenne East High School, So I was like a new event, like I'm confident. We just got this yesterday. We're already memorized. Like this is, we're, we're, do, we're gonna do great. And then I also had in the back of my mind, I'm like, what if it's like humor? What if I'm like not good at it at all? But then seeing the competition, it, it was horrible. <laughs> I was mostly sticking with humor for most of that time, but I did get into duo a little bit, which was um, fun doing those two events. Being double entered felt really good. Like, I learned that um, even when you don't succeed, you can still be happy for other people.
All right, how you, how you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? Um, how you feeling? I feel great. Great? Yeah, I feel awesome. I think that we're doing really good. Nice. This is my wonderful Can you stop the pollution? I just got kissed and stood on by a dog. The dog also kissed me. So. His name is Scooby. Wait. It's really, it, it's just so much fun and it's amazing. I get to do it with my best friend and we just have so much fun with it and winning is always a nice thing. But I think just looking at our duo from last year to this year, it, it's definitely an improvement and I love working with him. And it's so fun. He broke something. I just want to go home. <laughs> Get all pumped up for Green River. I'm going to check in with different people about this and that. If you look up here though, you have two jobs today, that's it. I can set a little sticky note goal, and two, I can be self-directed on my progress towards Green River. If you have a question, I will absolutely answer it, but I think even by now, novices, you know what to do. What is it that you can do one step, two steps that would make you more competitive at Green River? Try to just give yourself one last boost for this amazing tournament. It is going to be the best tournament ever. I'm calling it right now. All right. It is the last novice tournament. When you leave that tournament, when you drive home and you go to sleep on that bus, you wake up in your varsity. And that experience is a lot better if you've been lifted up and you can do everything you can do as a novice. I was nervous with like the sudden realize, realization that, oh man, I, I'm becoming varsity after this tournament. I was just excited because at that point I had lost a few times. I wasn't getting straight first, so I wasn't too cocky, and I was just prepared for whatever would happen. I changed up a couple of things. I remember changing my blocking completely. I remember switching up my intro just a little bit, and then I ended up failing that, so I went back to my old intro. And yeah, I remember practicing a lot. I, I was stoked. Bruh. <laughs> I think they went alright a little bit. Second one better than the first one. I think I just got the one! Oh, you know, I was just... How'd you do? <laughs> if this isn't filming, I'm crying. I think I did good. I did pretty good, yeah. I'm excited for You feel like you won both? No, seriously. Maybe I'll be not as No flash photography. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I think I did okay. How'd you do? Good. So, do you feel like you're, you're gonna do well and stuff? Yeah. yeah. How'd your rounds go? Uh, my voice is so <laughs> So good? Sorry, yeah, I forgot this is the documentary. Yeah, um, this is documentary a little bit. We can bleep it. Okay, yeah. Beep. Cut that out, but... Beep. How'd you do? I just made a basket, no one saw it! It's been a tough day. Well, well then how'd you do? Oh, I think I did okay. Yay! <laughs> I'm assuming that's good? Nice. Nice. I think I did great. Did you did great. Was the competition tough or easy? It was easy. Pretty good. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, do you feel like you have? Do you feel like you have a shot? Do you feel? <laughs> Isn't. Do you feel like? You... <laughs> I ripped my pants. Do you feel like you have a shot at going to finals? <laughs> what? Do you, have, do you feel like you have a shot at going to finals? Yeah. There's Isn't. eight of us, so if we don't, I'll be pretty depressed. How do you feel like you did? Good. Hey, Kaylee. How do you feel like you did today? Yes. Nice. How do you feel like you did 
today? Nice. Well, nice. And now I'm terrified. How do you feel like you did today? Uh, yes. Yes. How do you feel like you did today? Yes. <laughs> How do you feel like you did today? I think I did good. <laughs> You're proud of yourself? Oh, yeah. You excited for tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. How do you feel like you did? Good. <laughs> <laughs> did you do good today? Yeah. Did you do good? Yeah. Did you do good? Sure. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Justin's like, I'm just trying to get a good documentary. You guys are ruining it. Great. How do you feel like you did today? I f***ed up, but the judge laughed, so... How do you feel like you guys did today? Fantastic. Uh, you know, it was fine. I feel really good about it. I completely messed up my intro for poetry and humor, but it's all good. Nice. I'm fine. You're, you're fine. How do you feel like you did today? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. 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 Like amazing. I need a freaking nap, dude. I did a golem voice for my drama. <laughs> my time was 10 minutes and 20 minutes. <laughs> Some of the duos were actually like amazing and I was like, you know, we're gonna get like fifth maybe. We still have a good duo, but like the duos here are really good. I was feeling pretty confident in general because like there were definitely pieces that were better than me in like humor for sure that I was like thinking, but I felt that I would still be able to be good enough to make it to finals. I hated awards in general because I got fifth. The three East humors that made it to finals got the bottom three spots, seventh, sixth, and fifth. And then all the others were from Green River, which was like I realized that I could have, I should have beaten some of those Green River teams, and so should have Marcus and Brendan. I could sense some bias. I broke at Green River and got fourth place. Um, I just wasn't expecting anything that happened at Green River. It was, I hadn't experienced biased judges yet, and like Jaden said, it was kind of just, it was awful for self-esteem and speech self-esteem. I was kind of just holding out hope to get higher than fifth place, because that's what I got in duo at Green River last year. And so we got onto the final stage, and it was one of our best performances ever, and we got in fifth place. <laughs> We're halfway through the season, we're starting to look at the trajectories of other varsity members. How far are they going to go? What do we need to adjust? We've just had a handful of tournaments. This is a really good moment to test people against the state of Wyoming, against other competitors. Who's going to be on that state team? Who's going to make it to finals at state? What can we do now to intervene to help um, shape what the performances are going to be? And how can we keep that excitement alive? Because it can be tiring. I was um, really just doing what I'd always been doing, just practicing my piece, refining it for like the next tournament that we were doing. First varsity tournament, how do you feel? Good. No. This is your first varsity tournament, how do you feel? Okay. How do you feel? Okay. Mr. Buddy, this is your first varsity tournament, how do you feel? I feel like it doesn't feel real. I it feel really? like I've had one before. But, you know what, if it is, I'm very excited to be on the road again. We're going to ace this. Oh yeah, uh, easily. Are we going to eat soup out of trophies? Yeah, we're going to do it. We are going to eat all the soup out of the trophies. Whoa! Pretty good, just puked earlier this morning, as well as yesterday. So that's, that's, that's great. Good. Double trouble, alright, how you feeling? Yes. Wow. We're here for final song. Zach M. Atkins from Cheyenne East High School. Emma Rudell from Cheyenne East High School. 
Jaden M. Roccaforte from Cheyenne East High School, and Justin Todd Woolsey from Cheyenne East High School, and Maeve Suzanne Nepper from Cheyenne East High School, Kaylee Nicole McGarry from Cheyenne East High School, Jesse Klein from Cheyenne East High School, Ginger Dale McCormick from Cheyenne East High School, Jaden Roccaforte and Emma Rudell from Cheyenne East High School. Also from Cheyenne East High School, Kaden McCoy and Grayson Fogg. Zero champions are from Cheyenne East High School, Kaden McCoy and Grayson Fogg. From Cheyenne East High School, Nevaeh Corbin. From Cheyenne East High School, Kaylee Malgiri. And from Cheyenne East High School, Parker Backel. The drama finalist or er, champion is. Cheyenne East High School, Parker Baggett. Oh. I got first, first, fifth, granting me the bowl. And I, like, I honestly thought, like, Kaylee was going to get it. I thought somebody else was going to get it. I, I, like, lost complete train of thought during that time. I did not think that it was actually me. There's some students who got the opportunity to go to James Logan. So it's really wonderful to send some people off on a plane and go, go try your hand at confronting some national level competition. Go see what people from New York are doing. Go see what people from Minnesota, Illinois, California, what are they doing? Go test yourself against there, right? Because we have only been hitting Wyoming so far, pretty much, except for a little bit of Colorado tournaments. So for the select group of kids, you think, now's your chance. You don't have to go in, you just need to go see what's happening. Because part of this activity is just about expanding your knowledge. Hey, are you going to die? Yeah. Justin. <laughs> Elsha broke to octofinals while Jesse, Connor, Gracie, and Caden all broke to quarterfinals. We're in Safeway and Caden and Gracie just found out they broke. You're in semis. Yeah. At James Logan. Yeah. So we don't know about Poi yet? No, we're still waiting on Poi. Um, what about drama? I don't know. Did Elsha break? I don't know yet. Oh man. Gracie and Caden were one spot away from finals, and Jesse and Connor both got to finals and humor and Poi. Did you just break? Did you just break? Did you just break the finals? It helped us as a duo and just change and it just helped us so much. It was just the most stressful but most exciting time I've, of my entire speech career. Um, another like little motivator, 
We haven't won this tournament in three years. Yeah. We, we have lost to, to Green River and Central in the past three years. We haven't won it. So, it would be pretty cool. It would be a really cool show of force to say we won the tournament because it's a big deal. Um, but yeah, right in the Toronto Golf, and then I am open and excited and willing to watch any pieces, do any feedback. If you want to get out in the hall, I highly suggest even just running your piece. So, okay. That I was very confident going in. I mean, uh, at that point, I definitely felt some doubts with my humor because it wasn't as doing well as it did in the novice season, but I was still just prepared to do my best. Seeing that there was 96 entries for drama, I was freaking out. I was so scared. I honestly thought like I was going to pee my pants like at any given second going into a round. I think Natrona is the time to work extremely hard, but Natrona is actually special in the make you're hitting Wyoming schools that we don't hit necessarily all year long. So we're hitting new competition that we are absolutely going to hit at the state tournament. But we're going to hit them now, and we should hit them hard. <laughs> Back into the days, eh, eh. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the documentary. Just go, boop, 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 boop. And then the Amber's gonna walk by and go, ah. Uh. I feel good. Um, I'm proud of myself. I don't know how finals is gonna go, or semifinals is gonna go. Hopefully, well. Guess we'll see. I hate Morgan. I hate Morgan. I hate Morgan. No, you don't. I'm so <laughs> Whatever happens, eats a ranch. How do you feel? I feel excited. Ginger, how do you feel? Um, I'm going to get the six in this round. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Oh, definitely. Uh, we did good. Did good? Yeah. Feel confident? Kind of. Kind of. We made it to Sems and didn't break, which was weird because we had made it to Sam's at James Logan, and we did well. And then we came to Wyoming, where, not to say that the duo is not as competitive, but people in California are on a different level. It, you don't see the same stuff in California that you do here. So seeing us get beat by those people was e honestly a little bit more disheartening than losing at James Logan. Morgan, how do you feel? I think I did well. You feel like you're gonna break? I, I hope. I hope. You know, just going up against all these people, the fact that they don't even break to like quarterfinals, I guess it would be quarterfinals. But I didn't even do that great at uh, Natrona. Best placing I got was second place at my last round. Say Levy, what can be done is done. How'd you do? Hi, how are you feeling? I feel great. I'm a little you bit scared. to humor finals. And I'm scared. You're scared? Yes. Wow, how do you feel like you're gonna do? I'm gonna go in there like a man, I'm gonna come out like a boss. So Natrona is really wonderful for testing. How are you doing in Wyoming? Because Natrona is bigger than the state tournament. It's bigger than the state tournament. It's got more people, a deeper field of competition. It might not be as concentrated as the state tournament, but it's big and it says, here's how you're doing right now. So what we're thinking about is making sure everybody is as prepared as possible. So they feel good. Um, can I have informative on stage and humor in the weeks? Placing sixth from Cheyenne East High School, Pia Black. In humor, placing sixth from Cheyenne East High School, Marcus Burrell. Placing second 
from Cheyenne East High School, Connor Sears. And Poi, placing third from Cheyenne East High School, Saga McAllister. And placing first from Cheyenne East High School, Connor Sears. For non advancing quarterfinalists, from Cheyenne East High School, Jonah N. Simons. In duet, placing fifth from Cheyenne East High School, Amber Thompson and Cheyenne Corbin. Placing first from Cheyenne East High School, Jesse Archibald and Connor Sears. Placing third from Cheyenne East High School, Andrew James Harwell. In drama, in fourth place, from Cheyenne Morgan O'Neill. In third place, from Cheyenne East High School, Connor Sears. For fourth place of the Neshawna Mustang, in second place is Cheyenne East High School. So in that semifinals round, we just one of the best performances, again, of our lives. Like, we had all the judges there, and all of them were, like, reacting really well. And it was just so cool. But to find out we didn't break was kind of confusing, kind of disappointing. But, um, but my point did all right, so that was cool. <laughs>Speech and debate team decided to remodel Viney's office and all that he's done for the team.
we were competing against people that had beaten us a lot in Wyoming. What's different about districts, districts is exam time. It's an end point in itself um, because it is up, down, you're either going to nationals or you're not going to nationals. So I just kind of want to start off by congratulating everybody. This is a big moment. This is, I can't believe it's happened so fast, but we are so proud of every single person on this team. So first of all, congratulations. This is, a, this is an exhausting tournament. The most, the, the, I, would, I would use the time. Use the sleep that you can get, um, and don't don't stay up all night and do that because we're here for a reason, and you should take that seriously and really get into it. There is like this can be a very emotional tournament. People will get knocked out of this tournament. Being here, being able to earn your spot, all the work you did, that proves you were good competitors. But this tournament is still emotional because of all the hours you got to put in, all the research debaters have put in. Speech kids coming to practice, constantly thinking, how can I make my piece better? It comes all into this, this, into this tournament. And so if you do get knocked out, it can be emotional. But the thing you have to realize is there's a lot of people trying to get to nationals at the same time. If you get knocked out, realize what is happening for everybody else. They are also trying to get to that finals round. They are also trying to get that first place because they want to be doing going to nationals it will be stressful it can be overwhelming and we're here to support you in any way possible if you need a cookie i'll buy you a cookie i don't got money but i'll buy you a cookie <laughs> but you're all amazing we're gonna rock this tournament because you're all amazing because of it i don't know go to bed don't play xbox nintendo switch laptop i know what you all have don't lie to me. refer to your apartment as the bat cave, you might be a, might be a, a virgin. virgin. I was gonna say supreme. <laughs> I love that. That's my favorite. But I am a virgin, so. No. Just like what Viney and Pino and Ashley said last night, if you weren't here, you deserve to be here. This is a really stressful tournament. People are going to get out, people are going to get down. Just make sure that we are really supporting each other and focusing on our rounds and doing our best. Um, Ashley posted this on the Facebook page. I don't know if all of you saw it, but basically it went, if you find yourself still competing, good luck, move on to your next rounds. If you, for any reason, find that you are out of the tournament, remember that your talent is not defined by your race. Be supportive, make friends, and continue to do your best. Woo! I love all of you. Woo! All right. three. 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 On three or after three? <laughs> after three. One, two, three. The only person that probably could have beaten us was probably on um, this Sherlock Holmes duo, but I got a good feeling that we still beat them. You know, I, I, got, I got that feeling. I got enough in drama. Hey. Yeah. Um, the freaking Star Wars theme song was playing during my last drama round. I, I, I got an up in my first round, so oh, I guess... What? Yeah. Ginger! Wait, how have I you know. been doing? Oh, I got it up in a pretty 
about to put my last round. Like, of course, let's go. Yeah, let's go. I thought I did really good. Everybody else, I thought that they were decent. I just believe that I did so much better than fourth place. Yeah, and you got a down. Yeah, I got a down. So. Oh, I feel really good about boy. There's a, there's a lot of good competition in like boy and stuff. Yeah. Feeling confident? Feeling really I am. Confident? I'm feeling the power. All right. Well, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Your first duel round. Uh, all four teams got ones. All four teams got ones. Yeah. I mean, that's terrible. It sucks. It's really bad. All four teams got one? Yeah. Uh, that sucks. It's really bad. Yeah, it's like really bad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> so I got um, an up in my first round, nice. and I'm waiting for the second round. So, so possibly an up second round? Never know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I lost twice. <laughs> I'm, I have two ups, but I'm like taking on everybody else's stress and now I want to die. <laughs> I'm running on a down. I'm done. Uh, what down is on that? Nothing. Um, nothing uh, happened. You don't even know about it, so stop asking me. Sexual you that's, that's going in the dark. <laughs> going to knock on wood? <laughs> yes, I would like to go to finals. Well, you learned something new every day. I didn't know my uh, head was what? You see, it's hollow, so yeah. <laughs> I have all ups and extent, and I have Ooh. one down in the oratory. Down in extent, but that's fine. I think everybody just did really well overall. I'm tired. I'm exhausted, but it's pretty good. You feel confident? Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> the whoops! Um, I'm out in the oratory, but it's okay. One up in boy right now, I don't know about the other events. They've been iffy, but I managed to pick myself back up. Yeah. I'm just trying my hardest. Still confident, but not that confident. Uh, uh, Alright, well, we'll just have to see. We'll see. We're doing well. We got through day one. Maybe, I don't know. I'm done with day one, so we're feeling good. Feeling good? How do you feel like everybody's going to do tomorrow? We just got to keep it up. Keep is going. it going to be stressful? Oh, of oh, yeah, of course. Of course it is. Speech and debate. I would say it's like the best I've ever seen. There was never a point where I thought that anybody would get two downs in their first two rounds, but a few people did, and I was just really disappointed. But like, like I, I, I felt for other people, even though I was doing really well in both of my events with no downs. I like the team in general. Just like the the mood of the entire team just changed, and everybody felt like everything was just really like dull. Nobody was really smiling. Everybody was just really nervous, and some people were crying and. Like, that was the first time that I had really felt people, like, like I had felt the emotion that speech and debate I can have. Yes. Feeling confident going into this round, still nervous. Nervous, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You're riding on all ups. Yeah. So you have you have two rounds. Yeah. So these two rounds could be possibly your last, but there has been one team that we've been doing pretty well, I guess, that does have ups. So. Yeah. So how are you guys doing in Poi? This is my best friend in Poi. Yeah, we're all all, wow. the, all of us in Poi are still in that. Yeah. More excited or nervous? Nervous. I'm really excited. If I get a down this round, I'm out of the tournament. Yeah. So got to down the first round, and what's happened? I got an up all other rounds. Do you feel like you have a shot at finals? Yes. I only have one down, so let's That's go. That's good. Yeah. I just ate a sandwich. Good. Was the sandwich good? It was so good. Was it as good as your rounds? I would say so. I'd give it an up. You've been doing it. <laughs> Horrible. It was a very tough round. It was so hard. Did you get, well, after I had a mental breakdown and cried for 20 minutes, I ended up getting the up. So. <laughs> nice. So I don't want to say it was semi-finals because I don't know what's going on. Like, don't know what time it is or what year it is. But I think there's like nine people now. If I, if I don't get it down this round, then I'm good. And it's not that nationals is the end-all be-all of speech and debate. It's not. Because sometimes not qualifying is just as important to somebody as qualifying. It is about personal growth and it is about developing the right attitude about this activity and about life. But having that opportunity to go for it is amazing. And being able to watch a student prepare and work countless hours every single week, every single weekend leading up to that 
it just feels dramatically different when you're at that district tournament. It is magical. Through your mind right now. Ooh, what's what's running through your mind? I think everyone's pretty good. Ace, and final round. Representing the hole in the wall, district and national support Lauderdale from Cheyenne East. Davis and Harwell and Ramirez and Swedek. Oh, Mitchell and Noah Pies and Jaden Rogaforte, Jesse Archambault, and the last and the so congratulations. This is the overall championship for the 2018 Formal District Tournament, which we would like to award to Shotgun and Spice. I think the coaches are stunned. We're still kind of in disbelief. We look at that number on a piece of paper and it doesn't seem real. You know, I think my first year when we started, there were about eight qualifiers and that felt like a big group. That felt big. Um, but to have more than double that four years later, to have 21 students, um, it means that something must be right. You know, it must be not necessarily like coaching. Um, coaches don't take the credit for that. It means that you have incredibly talented kids synergizing and working together, communicating, lifting each other up. You don't get 21 qualifiers with a team that's not functioning well together. Um, there's something really special about this group, and I would say it's more about the kids. It's more about you guys, it's more about the team, it's about how good you guys are, how much you love the activity. You also don't qualify that many many people unless you believe in the activity and care for it and care for each other. So what it really means is there's something special and healthy and good going on at this school. Um, and that's why it's so neat. It's also absolutely terrifying thinking about trying to transport that many bodies, getting them to the right place at the right time. Um, it's a nightmare in terms of logistics, but it's unbelievable in terms of a coach getting to watch all of the hard work pay off and have a chance again at making a run for the final stage and saying, hey, we're from Cheyenne, Wyoming. You may not know us, but we're here, and we're just as good as you guys, and we're going to show you that. I'm just really proud of the whole team um, for everything, for every minute, um, for every card you ever cut, um, for every card you ever cut for a friend, um, for any cutting you made of a piece, for every new poem you found. Think of all the little things that you did that no one noticed that helped somebody become better, somebody to have a new opportunity. 
um, I see all kinds of little things that happen that have ripple effects. Um, we talk about the big accomplishments all of the time, about somebody winning something, about having a trophy, but what's really important is all of the little things that are behind that, about you just all being good, wonderful people. And I just have infinite gratitude for getting to be around you all. So um, thanks for making it such an incredible team and activity and life. It's amazing.